There we go. You okay? Oh, I know y'all miss mommy. She'll be back. But I guess I can at least show y'all my screen protector. <laughs> now I love it. I know. I know. I'm doing this a little bit different. But um, girl, what's up? I know. I know. I know. I'm gonna pet you in a minute. Okay, let me let me talk to the people. Good morning, people. What's good? We got this matte screen protector from Banks now. I know y'all might be thinking, yo, why are you showing me the finished product? I need to see the installation. Listen, I completely botched my <laughs> recording, so I had to improvise, and I was not trying to use a really good screen protector just for the sake of an installation. So this is what we got. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this Bing screen protector. What's good, y'all? It's your man Wayne Trainer. We are back with another joint, and as you can see, we got the Binks matte screen protector. Really clean, really nice. This is the finished product, obviously, but the installation process, for the most part, is pretty simple. It comes with a nice little quick install kit. It already has, you know, your screen protector preloaded. All you gotta really do is throw it on the phone, pull a little piece of film, and drop it on your phone for the most part, and voila there you go you got a nice easy quick screen protector installation now but for me as you can see in my video i for one i botched it on the actual recording piece my audio was completely shot but not only that i also messed up the installation a little bit i got a little anxious and took off the, the plastic too early i should have you know took my time squeezed out that little extra bubble and then i ended up with a few little bubbles that just were very difficult to come out. So I had to sleep on it, you know? I was like, look. <laughs> what I ended up doing was lifting up the screen protector just a little bit, just to allow for some of the air to come out. And then I kind of gently pressed it back down to get those bubbles out. So if you do run into that issue the same way I did, you get a little bit anxious. First of all, don't do that. Squeeze that last big bubble out as one hole. Get a squeegee. I didn't have one. I don't believe the Binks didn't include a squeegee in the box. Um, you know, definitely <laughs> Binks, if you're listening, maybe for future reference, go ahead and put a, a squeegee in the box. But yeah, go ahead, make sure you squeeze that big bubble out all at once. Do not try to, you know, press it out once you remove the plastic because it's just gonna be even harder. But outside of that though, once I, you know, fixed it up the next morning, it, <laughs> you see it. You see it, it's clean as heck, bubble-free installation, nice matte. Now let's get, let's get up on this thing. So this is not of your case-friendly, you know, persuasion. Now the new iPhone 16 Pro Maxes have very little bezel. So there's not a lot for cases to even hold on to. So I'm very curious to see, you know, what most case manufacturers end up doing with, with this. But for the most part though, you should be good. I did have it on my Peak Design case that I will be checking out um, and reviewing really soon. And it has, you know, it looks really good with that on there. There's no problems there. So with that case anyway, it's a little thicker. Um, it's not like lifting up the screen protector or anything like that. So um, I would say, you know, it should be able to work with most of your cases, especially your, your carbon fiber styles, your thin style cases. So um, I, Jazz, I'm gonna take you out in a minute. Can you please wait? Please sit. Thank you. But anyway, <laughs> if you got a thin style case, carbon fiber style cases, you should be all good. No issues there, but really clean. I love this. I love this mat. I love the mat on this thing. It looks nice now. If you can tell, they have like a nice little opening just for the camera. So when it comes to face ID, you're not gonna have any issues. This should work pretty good as you can see. So, you know, don't have to worry about that little extra mat over the front of the, the rest of the sensors. That is your Binks matte screen protector. Hit me up in the comments if you guys have any questions, if you have any, um, if you have anything you need to know when it comes to installing this thing, maybe you might run into the same issue I did with the bubble. Any other thing that might come about, you know, so just hit me up. It's your man, Wayne Train. We out. Thank you.